Hello, good morning, or good afternoon. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. This practice we'll call bar plus balance equals burn. Hopefully that exercise burn is polite and gentle as this might be your first workout this new year. Let's start with the basics, stay strong all year long, and we'll start with those feet. So my feet here in this parallel position, I'm gonna tighten things up a little bit extra, get them nice and close as if we're sucking in a straw. And then we'll just relax for a second and shake it out. But then at our feet, push into the floor to get towards that demi point. I'll do a quarter turn again, just to show that a little bit more from the side. So that lunging foot, that demi point foot here, then take that into our pointing foot. Perhaps if the tension is okay for you, flex over those toes and then go back to the point, back to that demi, and then press that heel back down into the floor. We'll repeat that on the other side as well. I like my hands on my hips as I do this as well. Arms in first, arms out to the side, wherever you wish. Let's go to the other foot, same thing. Pull that foot off the floor, tracking center, then point. Then flex over the toes if allowed, staying nice and tall. Back to that pointed foot, that demi foot, and then drive the heel down. We'll do two in each position, so repeat one more time on the other side. Pull that foot off the floor, point, perhaps that flexion over, back to that toe point, and then grow as you press that heel down. And for one last time, same thing, other leg again. Pull off to get to that demi point, Point the toe, flex over as allowed, back to the point, that demi, and press the heel. From your feet now in parallel, pivot on the heels, turning out to that first position. Same thing with the foot articulation, twos each side. Pull that leg up off the floor, demi point, point towards that flexion over the toes, back to the point, Balls of feet and press down and grow up. Alternate to the other side. Pull off, point, and flex over. That middle ankle bone there is pressing forward the whole time as you go back to the point, that demi point, and back through the heel. One last time each side. Ball of foot to the point, flexing over toes is allowed. Back to the point, the demi and drive down to grow tall. Final one this side. Pull up to the demi, point, flex over, point, ball of foot, pull down. That's our first position foot articulation. Now, open up to that tendu step, a little bit wide, transfer weight to one side, so here I am stacked up on my left, and now I'm in that demi point on my right, and for eight in a row from the demi point, to full toe point, one and two. And we are looking for a little bit of that arch or plantar fascia burn. We're looking for a little calf work here as well. If you can't quite get your toes off the ground, you're probably doing it pretty well as well. Last one or two over there. And really again, work on the toe strength through the foot. From here, I'll transfer my weight over again to this right side on my demi point on my left to full point, back to demi, full point, back to Demi, as we're doing this action, toe and balls of feet on this side, nice and tall and supported on the straight leg on the right here. Last one or two. After that last one, tendu, back into close, bring it in center and shake it out a little bit. Wiggles are a nice important part of today's practice as well. We'll go through a series like a bar movement. We'll call that our first movement there, our exercise for our feet. Then we'll get our forward fold to the floor for a high tension plank. For that again, we'll start with our head neck in a little bit of extension or looking up and then pull the crown of the head high and the chin low as you flex through our spine. Perform this movement as if in a phone booth where we're trying to stay nice and tight to the body. If there's a place where we can't really get through, bend those knees, allow ourselves to get to the floor a little bit easier and then walk out to a high planks position. And in our high planks position, we wanna press the floor away, keep the chin tucked, squeeze your butt, brace your abs, and try to pull the hands to the feet. And we're gonna to try to hold this 10 second plank and find a way to make this super challenging because it's only 10 minutes for three, 
two, and we can rest and place our knees down. Whew. Take a break, take a moment, maybe readjust those hands where we want, and we'll do that one more time for 10 seconds. So set up in that nice high planks position, squeeze your butt, pull the floor together, press the floor away, squeeze your butt again, brace your core, and for five more seconds, build your core strength in this plank. And then relax. Whether the knees go down first, or you go from your planks position back towards that fold, walk hands to feet, or feet to hands, end up in this folding shape, and then pull from the belly button up that we get nice and tall back up. All right, so our formula so far is a bar exercise, a planking exercise, and following that with our porta bra. For our porta bra, loosens up those shoulders, feet in our first position, turn them out, arms brava or first as well, and just nice and slow here together to the front, to that second position, and then back around. We're trying to keep those shoulder blades nice and flush as we do this again. So we're pulling the armpits low as we go to the front. They're staying nice and flat across our body as you open those arms to the side and then return low. We'll just do that twice the other way again here now. So this time we'll go out to the side first and then close in front and then back to first. And again, open up to that side, back to the front. Hugging that beach ball the whole time and back down. And again, something a little bit shaky. That's our formula. We're gonna go through that through all of our bar exercises and a plank exercise, porta bra to mix it up with the upper body. Let's get going. For that, I'm gonna use my bar. Do you have a chair, a bar mount, kitchen table, kitchen counter, you name it, here we go. Again, we'll be working in parallel for right now. First, take that single leg and reach it just beyond midnight. So I'm just trying to go to center and then a little bit over uh, to the left side here or the short side of midnight. Then I'm gonna turn out an external rotation in my hip as I take that leg to the side. And then I'm just gonna bring it right back in nice and tight. Repeat that one more time. So I'm gonna end up pointing my toe just short of midnight over here. And then with an external rotation, I'm gonna open up in my hip and take a leg out to the side or second, and then bring it back in. Repeat to the back. So this time I'm gonna aim for six or just beyond six as I try to cross my midline here. So a single leg towards the back. It's still that external rotation to bring us out to the side and then in. Repeat one last time. You can face that balance apparatus or use it to your side. But again, we're reaching towards the back opening up out of that hip, reaching to the side, and then pulling in. On that same leg, do a repetition all the way from the front to the back, back to the front, and then we'll switch sides. So, hand on hip, hand second, wherever we wish, take that leg towards the midnight timeline, open up to the side, reach, 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 reach. I'm trying to reach for that vault wall out the back here as I reach and connect my legs, flex over toes, and back underneath the hips. Repeat that one more time in the reverse direction or hip extension first as we go to the back. Open up out of that hip, leg to that side or second position, to the front, and then again that pull underneath. Check it out. Here we go. Switch sides. I'm gonna switch sides literally over here. We're gonna work on the other leg. So now my right leg will be the stability one, my left leg will be providing the mobility for this exercise. I'm gonna go just past that midnight time or just to the right of center as I try to cross my body with my toe point. That external rotation in my hip takes me out to the side and then pull in. Repeat that one more time. As you finish with the beautiful toe point out front, externally rotate in the hip to open up and then turn in and close. Twice to the back, hip extension to the back, toe point, open up out of that hip, that inseam shows itself forward here, and then we turn in and close. And one final time here, same thing, to the back, open up out of that hip to the side, and close. 
And now one time, each direction full circle to the front, external rotation, go through that side or second position, reaching for the vault wall out the back, hugging legs together, flexing over toes, flexing the hip, and then extending the hip, meaning to the back, as we go pointing to the back, turning out, bringing things from that side or second to the first, and then back underneath. And the wiggle. And here we go on our forward fold again. On our forward fold, we're trying to keep the hips stacked over the feet, avoiding a hinge. Join us for kettlebell swings for that hinge, but right now we're trying to keep the hips stacked over the feet. The head and neck might start in that extension. You can tuck a chin, pull the rib cage onto those hips, nice and slow. Again, the goal could be hands towards the floor, but if they can't quite get there, bend those knees, walk out to our high planks position, and again, a 10 second round starting now. Squeeze your bum, brace your core, breathe, make it intense for three more seconds. Two, one, soft knees. Rest in this extension position with the tailbone, avoiding the flexion in the spine right now. Avoid that child's pose. And then one last time in our high plank. About 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeat twice. Go, bum squeeze, arm straight, core brace, armpits pulling to those hips, full body tension for three more seconds here, two, and whether it's from your knees or just walking hands to feet or those feet to the hands, end up in your forward fold, pull from your belly button center here as we then ha, extend. Porter bra time, shake it out a little bit, come back to that first position feet, first position arms, and same thing, but just going towards overhead. From first to the front, towards that fifth position overhead, and then nice and slow, the palms turn down, and we return through the gateway to that first position arms. Repeat that one more time, just nice and slow. As the arms are going up, those armpits are pulling down to get up tall, open up, turning those hands, adding the head gesture in there because it feels really good too, and back to first. Same thing going out to the side this time. First again, so we could follow with the head and we reach out to the side and trace a single hand as we reach up towards that fifth position and then bring things back down nice and control and switch to the other side, tracing the hand, bringing things up overhead, nice and slowly grooving the shoulder and then returning to that first position. All right, wiggle it, time to go back to the bar. Here, just that similar bar exercise, twice in a row this time, off the ground. Ooh, we'll start a little bit low with this dorsiflexed Twyla Tharp modern dance inspired foot, and the second time through, we'll do it with that ballet foot. Here we go, nice and low for the first one, but just off the floor or degage style. Point to the front, and then dorsiflex that ankle. At that point, do that external rotation in the hip, opening things up to the side, reaching towards the back, hugging in center, and your foot might not touch the floor this time as you flex it back underneath the hips. Repeat to the back, extension, keep the ankle in that dorsiflex position, straight knees, cramp and bum cheeks, inseams forward as the legs out to the side, then bring that leg center, and then underneath. This time, point the toe, perhaps one millimeter higher. To the front, just crossing the body, pointing the toe and slightly off. Keep it modest, keep those hips level, keep those legs straight at those knees. As we turn the corner, we can reach for that back corner here, hug the legs to center, and then flex over the toes and underneath. And final time on this leg, we'll go to the back first, finish with the toe point, extend the hip, open up and around over those modified hurdles of yours at the side there, and then to the front, tap and flex under. All right, let's come back. Same thing on the other side again. Once with that dorsiflex ankle, second time with our pointed foot. Point to the front first, and then dorsiflex. 
Nice and control that external rotation in the hip to bring things out to the side. And from the side, we'll reach to the back. At the back, flex the hip, meaning bring the leg forward. The foot might not touch the floor. Then extend to the back, open up out of that hip, keep the knee nice and straight as we go over those hurdles at the side, back to a leg in the front, tap down, and extend the hip underneath. Repeat one last time with the toe point. Toe point to the front, flex off the floor, keep that toe pointed, shooting energy out of the foot as you reach and navigate those circle shapes out to the side and then to the back. Flex over that foot in the back now, contact the floor, cramp the standing leg, and then here we go to the back with our toe point, off the floor in that hip extension, and then that inseam comes around first here, toe points out to the side, and then to the front, to the tap, and then the underneath. Whew. Floor time, plank time. This time, I'm gonna do a three-point plank. One foot's gonna be off the floor. Modify to your knees if you need to, or progress with me to the three-point plank version for a little bit more intensity in the core challenge today. Start in extension. Tuck that chin, flexing the rib cage onto the hips. Bend the knees when you need to, and nice and control, forward fold. Walk those hands out, establish your high planks position, lift a single leg, point the toe, and go for 10, 9, 8. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Make it intense for 3, and 2. Foot down. Knees down just to rest for about 10 seconds again. Take a second, take a breath. Reestablish your hand grips. Establish your high planks position. And then with a single leg, point the toe and create tension by pulling into the ground. Hands to that foot on the ground. Core brace, butt squeeze. Hold for three, two, and then down. And then nice and control again. Take your time walking up. Nice and slow, <sighs> up to stack, and then to shake. Let's open up to that first position down low and open up to that second position with our feet now. Both arms down low, one at a time, trace it with your arm, excuse me, trace it with your head and eyes. I'm gonna use my right arm here and I go up. This arm on the left is gonna stay in the same position as I trace and bring things around to center and then switch sides as if we're doing a figure eight here. Trace it with the eyes and the head as we go up. Open it to the side as the hand turns down and bring things back to that gateway. Let's do that one more time in the same direction. Chase, trace, excuse me, the hand with the eyes. As we open out to the side, shoulder blades are sitting flush to the body and down. And again, last time this side here, up, open, and then the gateway, return. Twice going out to the side first, so with my right hand, I'm gonna trace my head and neck out to the side, trace the gateway to up or fifth, and then nice and control down. Pick up on the other side, keeping the shoulder blades low, pulling from those armpits, tracing to fifth, and down. And then last time here, nice figure eight style. Elbows stay soft, armpits stay low, return down. And last time here, trace with the head, pull the shoulder low, reach high, and then reset. And wiggle. And back to that bar. Plies, haven't done any plies yet today. We revisit all those foot shapes including from parallel. Use the bar if you need. I'm gonna come up a little bit more in the center here, but please use that bar if we need for that balance aid. From our uh, fair parallel position, do our first version of our plie. I'll do my side profile turn from here. In our plie, our butt stays right over top of those heels. We're gonna keep heels heavy for here. We're gonna do three repetitions of this. This is our first little squat plie and extend the knees and squeeze your butt cheeks. And then repeat that twice more, same thing. The hips are staying over top of the butt. 
the dorsiflex shape of the ankle at the knee, and then again to extend the hips through. For the third and the final, again, go low, hang out, feel those hips in center, squeeze your butt cheeks, and then let's rise up and hold our first balance here. This is where that balance aid might be useful again. And then like we did nice and control up, can we take four seconds to return to the ground? Great, so first position, excuse me, the first edition of that was in parallel. Then let's turn those feet out to that first position now. Thing to say quick, add tension before you plie. What does that mean? That means as I'm pulling my heels together, my knees bend, and then I'm pushing to straighten them out. Feel that pull-push effort on our squats plies here to stay nice and strong and control in our efforts. Let's go for three in a row now. Pull the heels together, creating the knee bend. From there, drive down to stand tall. Repeat twice more as you pull the heels together, creating that diamond-shaped plie, and then press to tall. Third and final with the balance at the end. Pull the heels together, press to tall, continue pressing. Hold for out four, three, two, and then nice and control. Also for four seconds, let those heels come back down. Now, we'll tendu open to that second position or sumo squat, and here we go for three. Pull together to descend into that squat plie with tension. Press to grow tall. Pull the heels together to create tension on those adductor lines first, and then press to get tall. For the third and final, add the balance at the end as we descend into our squat. Press the tall and find our balance, holding for four, three, two, arms where you want, and then again, nice and slow, own the balance on the return to the floor. Point tendu, close, huh, and wiggle that out. We're gonna do one more set of plies today with the toe balance is happening on the third repetition, but with the knees bent, not straight. Let's do it again. Again, set side profile for the first one. Knees over toes, hips stay over the heels. Extend the hips to tall. Repeat two more, control the down, press those knees over toes, extend the hips through. On the third and final, we'll go down into our plie, and then could you get Lower on those balls of toes, and then stand up on the balls of toes and reset the heels to the ground. Use those balance aids. Maybe I should use one to my, today myself. But here, from parallel, open up to first, three repetitions of our squat. Pull together, press to tall. Pull together, create tension on the hips here, press to tall. Third and final, pull, pull, pull. Keep pulling those heels off that you could get as safe low as possible. Could you then stand up on those toes and slow on the down? Open up to that second position, three repetitions, balance on the third. Pull together, create tension on those hips, press to tall. Pull down and you Press to tall, but make it look and feel effortless, I guess. We're in bar, not kettlebells here. And one more time, pull yourself down. Keep pulling those heels up. That's a toughie there. Hang out for an extra second or two. Stand up, extending the knees on balances, and reset the heels. Tondu point, close, wiggle. Plank time. Let's regress. Let's come back to the knees. We can add those variations with a three-point plank with the toe point out the back, or let's regress back to knees on the floor. Let's find out how we can make that challenging too. Start with your head, neck, and extension. A little bit of a chin tuck. Pull the rib cage onto those hips. Squeeze your butt cheeks, legs straight, straight, straight. And then again, modify how we get down to the high plank on knees. High plank on knees. It can be hard too. Bring awareness to the hands, the grips, and for 10 seconds, go. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Keep your chin tuck. Core brace. Hold this for five, four, three, and just relax. Slight tip of the tailbone to the ceiling there or an anterior tip of the hips here. Avoid the child's pose. 
And for one more time, modify in any of those three versions that you know. I'm gonna go back to the old classic here, just a high plank standard for going 10 seconds. Go, go, go. Bun squeeze, straight elbows, core brace. Don't forget to breathe in there for three and two. And again, walk up feet to hands, hands to feet. Nice and control. And we'll stack right up and shake. Let's go from parallel to first to second. Arms in again our first position here. Nice and controlled, let's bring things back to working in tandem here where we'll go from our firsts towards our fifth. Look one side for drama and for a nice feel. And then same thing, up through the middle. Track that other side, out to the side. The chin could scrape that collarbone as it goes through. And then just switch your direction out to the side first, tracing one arm towards overhead and pull down. And then last time here, out to the side, arms overhead and control the down and the shake. A couple more bar exercises to go here. These are the ones that I feel burn the most. So hopefully we turned on the balance muscles We've turned on those feeling strong, feeling expressive vibes, but now we're going to feel a little bit more of a muscle burn on those legs as we do that ballet style or the movements in the ballet style of the adage, the slow stuff. So let's grab that balance aid. We'll still work from parallel here. And first, pull that leg up to a coup de pied or at the ankle position. Now keep the knee in the same position and extend with your point. And we'll hold that for four, three, two, and bring that back in with control. Hopefully that's great. That felt strong. You were balanced. You felt a little bit of work. If that's good, let's climb the leg towards more of a retire position at the knee. And then same thing. Nice and control. Extend and hold for three, two. Nice slow knee bend. Return. Oh, that was too hard. Come down. That was just right. Stay right there. Or... Chase a little bit of movement, a little bit of range, and then nice and slow for the last one on this leg. Extend and hold for three and two. And slow in. Ride the leg down and grow tall as it connects to the floor. Let's do the same thing on the other side. I might pretend balance aid out to the side. Hopefully we can do this here. And again, at the first position or that coup de pied, the knee stays stationary and extend and hold for four, three, two, slow in. If that feels okay and strong, climb the leg towards the knee at the retire position now. And again, the knee or the elevated leg stays in the same position as we extend and hold for three, two, and ring in. Modify as you need, lower to easy. Stay the same because it's just right or climb the leg a little bit more and for one last time, we'll hold for four, three, two, slow in, ride that leg right back down the body, grow tall as it connects to the floor. One last time here, same thing, out to the sides. Okay, let's do it. Nice and tall, pull the leg up to the coup de pied. Then at the hip, open to the side. You have a little triangle, half diamond shape there. Knee stays stationary. Extend and hold for four, three, two, slow bend in. I love the second position balance. One of my goals is to get the second position on a balance. So here we go in that pursuit. Climb the leg, extend those hips, hold and point for four, three, two, slow in. Same height, climb the leg a little if it's there for you. And for the last time, Nice control on that extension of the knee, inclusive of the toe point, and hold for two, one, bend it in, close the hip first, press down, grow tall. One last time over here. Shake it out in between. I know that can be a lot of work. I hope it's a lot of work. Let's go one last time. So pull it up to that low position, open, tall on the supporting leg, 
and extension of the knee and holding for three, two, slow return, connecting. Then flex the hip, climbing the leg of the standing leg there, knee in the same position and nice hip extension. Our hips are level, hips are forward, knees are straight for three, two, slow in. And for the final one, find that position that's just right for you to challenge. And for the last repetition for the day, extend and hold for three and two. Slow in, close up, press down and relax. We're gonna do one forward fold to the floor here. Take our time as we go. Head, neck and extension. The chin tuck initiating the flexion pattern as our body goes here. Pulling the rib cage onto hips. Sandwiching yourself together. Walking out to your high plank. Full body tension, go for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, squeeze your bum. Five, and three, two, soft knees, little rest. Recalibrate hands, make sure it's just right and modify if you need. Join me on the modified for the last one if we need here. Finish strong, go. I'm pulling my hands and my knees together. My elbows are straight, I'm breathing. Squeeze in for three, two, and then nice and easy. We'll take our time getting back up to tall. Hands to feet, feet to hands, combination of both. And there we are. Thank you very much for following along. That has been our bar plus balance equals burn workout. I hope it was easy enough that you'll want to come back and exciting and hard enough that we can progress off some of those skills and work on our other moves, like quick ones, powerful ones, and other playful movements we can think of in between. My name's Ian, thank you for joining at Bars and Bells. Take care, stay strong, and we'll train soon. Goodbye. <laughs>